Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Reapers No Prep Kings return in season five. Now, before I go to go directly to their final owners, please subscribe and comment, and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming all about the Street Outlaws No Prep Kings race series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, after almost three years, James Goad, aka the Reaper, is coming back. No Prep Gangs Racing with his new NBK purpose-built car. He previously ran the OG Reaper car and the Orange car, and now he is running a purpose-built car for No Prep Racing. This Camaro was built by his brother and James as well. In conjunction with Chassis Engineering, it is one of the lightest cars out there. I mean, with James in it, and the big block Chevy combo it runs. And James is a pretty big guy. This car weighed in last year at 2,480 pounds. That is very light. Considering James is probably close to being 280 pounds, 260 pounds. I'm not sure. So it's a very, very light car. The weight percentages I believe are 5149. So it's very, very good. For no prep racing. I mean it's not very nose heavy. So that's good. And it has a killer big block heavy combo. Everybody's running Hemis. But. Per the season 4 rules. If you ran a big block Chevy. Below 585 cubic inches. And. With a standard bore space. You could get a 200 pound weight reduction. Jeff Lutz runs one. And Reaper is going to run one as well. Now, this big block Chevy is built by Scott Duggins at Power Race Engines. He knows how to make power with big block Chevy Pro Charge motors. I mean, Scott has a car with a big block Chevy that at 2,600 pounds, I believe, runs 380s. So that is roughly as fast as the NPK cars are running with a Hemi and a Pro Charger. Now, Reaper's motors, they have 14.5 degree Sony cylinder heads, so they flow a lot. They're really good cylinder heads. And I believe both motors, one is a 572 cubic inch motor and the other one is a 565 cubic inches. So they got quite a bit of cubic inches and should make in the 3000 horsepower range at the tires. So it's not as much as a Hemi, but he could weigh 200 pounds less if they still have the weight deductions for the cast block and stock bore space wedge motors, which I believe they will have it. In the finalized rules for season five so this combo has already been allegedly 390s at 2760 pounds in uh, the old reaper car and even with the new rules he could weigh 2600 with this combination and now he's making more power than back then so i do believe he will be competitive on npk one of the main issues that reaper has always had is not the car it's not his driving is the issues that he keeps having, breaking stuff and that kind of stuff. Now he has a really good crew behind him and he has spare transmission, spare motor, everything. So he should do really good this year and I really hope he does well.